Hello everybody, welcome back into more Silent Hill 2. It is a day later, I feel like I needed a little bit of a break from this game. I'm happy I took it. I still feel like... I am not completely at peace with what I have learned so far. James killed Mary. James killed his wife. And when I logged off yesterday, I thought about the game progression a lot. The game tried in multiple ways to tell you that James was a bad person. And it all stemmed from, of course, James's guilty conscience about what he had done and what had happened. It's just crazy to think about. And I have to remember how to get down. I think it's from the reading room out that door. So the only thing we really can do next is go and confront Mary and go and truly confront what we did. Oh, I was also thinking a little bit about the timeline. I was so willing to believe James when James said it had been three years later. And now I'm wondering if it's only three years after Mary's death. And... You know, because of his shock over what he had done, he changed the timelines in his own mind. That's the only thing that makes sense about Lara. Because I do believe Lara is a real kid. <sighs> So I think James is the one with the messed up timelines. And like I said before, now the final act is going to be to confront Mary, confront Pyramid Head. I, I don't, I don't know. I need to get to that elevator though. I'm also not sure how I feel about the fact that there are no enemies out in the open. She will not be cured. All that suffering. I'm no longer sure if it was of any use. If it meant anything at all. I can't say if it was understanding if there's any wisdom to be had in all that happened i suppose that's for you to learn and mm. i hope you will that's it sounds like the exact same doctor from the asylum which also leads us towards maybe the director of the asylum might not have been a bad person maybe that was all james's perception of the doctor that mary had Because the game tries so hard to tell you what James did. The code to the briefcase is the deed is done. The note we find before Maria dies is sick no more or sick no longer. God, I'm still in shock. It's really hard for me to like pull my thoughts and words together here because I'm not used to playing a character where this type of information is unveiled. That also leads me to another conclusion that Angela, wherever she may be now, definitely killed her father and that is likely what the bloody knife we have is. And even then, that observation brings me no comfort because Angela, definitely a victim. Eddie, in many ways, a victim. I, I'm not sure with James. A victim of circumstance, but definitely a, a bad person. 
Oh, uh, did we just descend into hell again? I mean, we kind of have to confront whatever this is. We in the basement? Also, depending on how long this final sequence is, even though it has been a day between recording episodes, I might just smash the two episodes together. We'll see. Got another save point. And does James even deserve to leave Silent Hill at this point? Angela does, Laura does. I don't even know why Laura's here. Eddie can't leave. And now we have to wonder, can James leave or does James deserve to leave? We're not going to be able to push that open, so... I'm also wondering... It... We're still picking up bullets, but there's no one around? And it's like... Silent Hill knows there's no point in torturing James anymore for the sake of trying to force him in one direction or the other because he's made the discovery that he was here to make. Hey, you did this. There's no reason to try to live in denial because you did it. It hasn't been three years. Maybe it's only been three days. You killed your wife. She's not at the end of the tunnel waiting for you like some light. She's gone. Mama? Mama, I was looking for you. Don't make me fight, You're Angie. You're the only one left. Maybe then I can finally rest, Mama. Oh, her brother's dead too. What's wrong? Wait. You're not my mama. It's... It's... You. I'm sorry, Angela. I think you were right. What we're looking for is not here. Helping me earlier, but I wish you hadn't. Even Mama said it. I deserve what happened. No, oh. Angela, that is not true. Oh, Angie! Don't pity me. I'm not worth it. I'm angry for you. Maybe you think you can save me? Will you love me? Oh, man. Care for me? Heal all my pain? That's what I thought.
James. Give me back the knife. No, I won't. Yeah, I'll hold on to this. Saving it for yourself. Have it your way. It doesn't change anything. That's the point. But then that's not you fair to her. Too. For me, it's always like this. Oh, interesting. We just separate. Wait. Hmm. And there were two monstrous bodies hung up on the wall, one on either side of her. And now I beg the question: Was her brother also abusing her? And is she going off to now? Now I have my own questions about Angela and where she's going. Is she going to face her own demons? Is she going to face her her mother now? The person who allowed those types of things to happen to her? Oh, I think we're finally getting back into monster territory. Yep. You gotta get yours before you get got. You didn't look like you were much of a threat, but still. Okay, so I'm first floor now, but it's heavily blocked off. It's all right, Jamie boy. I don't even feel right comforting him anymore, but like now it's a force of habit because, you know, when you play games like this, especially scary games or like high intensity games, in an odd way, you kind of like trauma bond with your character. Oh, I didn't need to attack the one that I passed. They are... Oh, they're dying on their own. They're dying on their own. Three twelve to be cleared out. Let me make sure there wasn't anything on the back of that. No one's returning. Where did James kill Mary? Did he kill her at the hospital or did he kill her in their own home? I want to see what happens. Now I kind of feel bad for the bondage buddy I killed because... Oh! Oh my god, it's afraid of James! Oh, why is that making me a little emotional? It feels so weird because I've gone through like these these things have kind of been my mortal enemy, you know? 
And now it just, it feels weird. The writing is spectacular. Oh my God. I'm gonna be thinking about this game for a very long time and I'm not even, I haven't seen the finale. And this like comes the time, if you played the original, like please tell me how it kind of stacks up, how the emotion is captured. That is the autosave symbol. <sighs> this right here feel, feels extremely final because this is the autosave symbol and it's also the symbol that was on the apartment door the first time we ever crossed over. Man. Caffeinated courage while we go. James! Maria? I know what you are. I know why I needed you. But it's all over now. I don't need you anymore. Mm. Don't speak for both of us. Oh, okay, James. I've got you. I'm gonna figure this out for you. See, here I am protecting you again. Okay, we're gonna find those iframes. Don't you worry, Jamie boy. I'm a Souls player. We're gonna switch to a heavier gun. Ooh, I see you. That was nice. Okay, I gotta keep both of them in a line of sight because they're both not giving me space. And if you get too far away, they throw. Okay, that one's a smart one. It's trying to get an angle. Nice. Careful, James. Oh, I'm sorry, James. I was trying to watch both of them. Confused. No, I'm not. No, oh, smart. Drink. Yep. 
You okay? Switch. Load him. Come on! Why is the manifestation of your guilt so strong? Well, you know what? There's there's reasons. I'm gonna run out of bullets. Watch this have been a time thing and I didn't have to use any of this. Okay, is the ceiling gonna fall on him? Please? Because I'm out of all the good bullets. What is this? Why do I need a scarlet egg? What is this? Rust colored egg. Okay, well, you know, way to deal with your self hatred, buddy. Is there any more bullets in the arena before we, like, peace out? Oh, man. That was... Oh, that's weird. Are they wearing, like, an executioner hood under these things? I wish I could crouch. Okay, where... Does it... Does it matter? Why do I feel like this matters? Okay. What do you want, James? Oh. Flowers. I don't want any damn flowers. Just go home already. Look at me. I'm disgusting. Between the disease and the drugs, I look like a monster. Mm. Well, what are you looking at? Get the hell out of here. Leave me alone already. I'm no use to anyone. I'll be dead soon anyway. It'd be easier if they just killed me. But I guess the hospital's making a nice profit off of me. Why are you still here? I told you to go. Are you dead? Don't come back. Don't leave me. 
leave you alone. I mean, he did come back, but it was to kill you. I didn't mean what I said. Please. Tell me it'll be okay. Tell me I'm not gonna die. Oh. Help me. Not from the disease, at least. James, you could have just gotten a divorce. Oh my god. Am I supposed to find the end of this hallway at some point? So obviously she became very bitter. I think I see a door. She became very bitter. I mean, she was dying. And when you have a terminal illness, you're A, faced with the reality that you're dying. B, you're on so many drugs, you don't even feel like yourself anymore. Ooh, I'm not done. Oh, I'm not done. Okay, game. I, I, I'm picking up what you're putting down. Is the final... Oh. Shape forces the mind. Is the final boss Mary? I mean, she would be the ultimate source of James's guilt, so... Oh, game. You, uh, you gave me quite a few things here. I like that this stairwell has a cage. In case you felt like jumping. I don't know, you could squeeze through those bars. James, don't even think about it. We've, we've been through too much. I still blame you for like 100% of what's happened. Because you could have just gotten a divorce. This is a nice big arena you got here, Mary. you so much <laughs> I've missed you too we can finally be together forever is he just gonna kill himself no oh you finally accepting this is all in your head and we shouldn't even be here James and that you should have just went to therapy? Honey. What's wrong? I'm sorry. I know you tried. James, please. But she's gone. I know that now. Stop it. And I can't just keep pretending. Shut up! Maria! What do you want? Do you even know anymore? I'm yours. I'm here for you. So what if I'm not her? Oh, this is once again the perfect version of Mary before the sickness. I can give you what she never could. I can be better than her. What else do you want me to be? What else can I be? Hmm? I I'm so sorry, Maria. I really am. But this has to stop. It's time to let it go. <laughs> All right.
right, Maria. You got a nice arena here, and I got plenty of bullets. <sighs> no. What? I won't let you do this to me. I won't let you go. Okay. I can't! Oh! Moths? Oh, okay. I see how this is gonna be. Reload, James. Okay. Ah, stay away from me. I don't like bugs. You're fine, James. I take care of us. Even though, you know, you're still going to therapy. Well, actually, you know what? This has been about as much therapy as you're probably going to ever get. Okay. Switch guns. Switch guns. Nice. I'm gonna need you to stop. Oh, no, 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 no. Dang it. I like the other arena better, Maria. Come on. Come on. But in front of us, watch out for the moths. Watch out for the moths. You're all right, James. A little juicy juice. Where's she at? Come on, Maria. James. There's gotta be over here somewhere. Watch it, James. Watch it, James. Watch it, James. Get that one. Nice one. Where is she? She fell down, but where? Right? Oh. You're right. We got juice for days. Juice for days. We've done such a good job of keeping you alive, bro. For better or for worse at this point. That's kind of ironic given what's going on, but you know what, James? You understand what I mean. Dang it, I can't get, I need to stop running. There she is. You're okay. 
Drinking juice. Okay, I figured out the bugs. You're all right, James. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Mary. Maybe I should have got closer, but like, hey, I don't trust Hansen. nobody. <coughs> I'm sorry. Don't be. I told you. I wanted the pain to end. You did. Mm -hmm. But that's not why I did it. Mm. The truth is, I hated you. Oof. I wanted you out of the way. I wanted my life back. If that's true, then why do you look so sad? I mean, if that's true, why would you do all of this? But going to Silent Hill. Mary. It's okay, James. Here. In the moment, maybe it was true, but... What is this? It's a ladder. It's what you've been looking for. Okay, Laura. Oh, you know what? She was she was never tortured by this place. That's how she got around the way that she did. The monsters weren't after her. She's a child. What is there to feel guilty about?
Huh. I wonder if Mary wrote something in there like, take care of Lara. Like, go to the hospital and find her. In my restless dreams, I see that town. Silent Hill. You promised you'd take me there again someday. But you never did. You kind of did in a psyche. Well, I'm alone there now. In our special place. Waiting for you to come and see me. But you never do. So, I wait. Wrapped in my cocoon of pain and loneliness. I know. I've done a terrible thing to you. Explains the moth symbolisms. I wish I could change that, but I can't. I feel so pathetic and ugly laying here. Every day I stare up at the cracks in the ceiling, and all I can think about is how unfair it is. The doctor came today. He told me I could go home for a short stay. It's not that I'm getting better, it's just that this could be my last chance. Even so, I'm glad to be coming home. I missed you so much. <laughs> but I'm afraid, James. I'm afraid you don't really want me to come home. Every time you come to see me, I can tell how hard it is on you. Mm. I don't know if you hate me or pity me. Maybe I just disgust you. I'm so sorry. When I first learned I was gonna die, I couldn't accept it. I was so angry. I struck out at everyone I loved. Especially you. And that's why I understand if you hate me. But I want you to know, I will always love you. Even though our life together had to end like this, I still wouldn't trade it for the world. Well, this letter has gone on too long, so I'll say goodbye. I told the nurse to give this to you after I'm gone. Which means that as you're reading this, I'm already dead. But that's okay. I'm not afraid of it anymore. I just hope the pain will end soon. So that you remember me for who I was. And not what the disease made me. I want you to go on. I want you to live. For yourself. And for others. Like you did for me. James. You made me happy. Oh, they're finally getting to leave. Oh, I'm so conflicted. Man, that's crazy. This is by far one of the best written games I've played and I play a lot of really good games and I play a lot of games that obviously are up, were up for like game of the year. So we played a lot of very good games on the channel, but from like an emotional standpoint, this is one of the best because I'm very conflicted about everything. Oh, I want more Silent Hill. 
I don't know if the other ones are up to par or what they deal with. I do know, based off you guys' comments, this is the most popular one. This was beautiful. This was insane. <gasps> wait, 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 my results. Go back, go back. In There's eight endings? I thought this game was linear. What do you mean there are eight endings? Number of times you try to open a locked door, 326. I checked the map 687 times. There's gotta be an achievement for never opening the map. Oh man. Favorite weapon, the steel pipe. <coughs> I don't know if that's actually my favorite weapon. Oh man, shots fired, 937. I died zero times. I've got you, James, for better, for worse. Oh, number of dodges performed. Man. I can't believe there's eight endings. What are what are possibly the other eight endings? I mean, I might have to look up um, what the endings are because I'm very invested. This game felt very linear in a lot of ways. So I'm not sure what creates alternate endings. Maybe finding all the Polaroids or something in that vein. I have no idea. This is by far one of the best written games I have played in a very, very long time. I, th I think I want to say one of the best written games I've played in general. And once again, we've played some amazing games, but this one is a standout because I left my play session yesterday very emotionally conflicted about the information I learned about James. And in this short finale of what, 40 minutes or so, I'm conflicted again before different reasons. Mary no longer felt like herself. She, between her disease and the drugs and, you know, the stress and the personality shift, be maybe becoming a little bit more aggressive because you're bitter about what's happening to you. Life isn't fair. You're terminally ill. You're taking that out on your partner. James starts to become bitter about the situation and towards Mary for how she's handling it. At the end of the day, she wanted to die, but does that take away from the uh, how James did it? I mean, and I think the wild thing too is that she, in her letter, is so bitter to James for, you know, being able to live his life versus knowing that her life is going to end. But at the same time, she loves him enough to ask him to go on and live for himself and to live for others. And she accepts that she wanted to die and that even if he hated her in that moment that he killed her. That is what she wanted to happen. She wanted an out that she, she didn't want to die from the disease. She wanted an out that she semi got to choose, I guess. James is such an interesting character. I don't, I don't hate him. He's very conflicted and he's very human and he's a very broken man. And the game tries so hard to tell you what he did because the entire setup of this game is James's individual guilt. This is amazing. I really want more Silent Hill. I really want more from this franchise. Uh, the development team, the remastered this, I don't know how close it is to the original. I assume it's a little bit more expanded upon and perhaps larger because I know the original game was a little older. Beautiful in my point of view. I got to leave, I got to take Lara with us because Lara really was an innocent party in all this. She was a child. Don't know how she ended up in Silent Hill at all, but she didn't deserve to be there. And she also wasn't being tortured by Silent Hill itself. Man, 
Eddie's dead. Eddie, you know... James was a victim of the circumstances of Mary's death. I mean, Mary's sickness. But still can be blamed for what he did. Eddie was a victim of his bullying. But you still can't take away from the fact that he killed people in response to it. And then Angela... Oh... I don't know what happened to Angela, and I don't think we're meant to know. And that's really sad because it sounds like she spent her whole life being a victim between her father, possibly her brother, and then her mother saying that she deserved it. It's wild writing, insane. But like every character that we've met is extremely human, especially the three people that we've met in Silent Hill, Angela, James, and Eddie crazy okay i need to stop rambling i'm gonna be thinking about this game for a very long time this was extremely good i would say i've had a couple of picks for possibly game of the year i have not finished rebirth i know a lot of people are waiting for updates on that i am going to make that my priority for the rest of the year and going into next year i'm only going to be playing final fantasy 7 rebirth until the finale and posting those I feel like this is up there. I feel like this definitely... Because with my thing with Game of the Year, I feel like Game of the Year needs to leave a lasting impact. And I didn't necessarily get that from Stellar Blade or Black Myth Wukong, which I think are both individually amazing games, but I don't think they left a major impact on myself. So this is definitely up there. I got no words. I, I think I'm done. I think at this point I'm going to be rambling about how good this game is. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this playthrough of Silent Hill 2 Remake. We will 100% be keeping our eyes out for any other games that come from, I do believe it's Blooper Studio that remade this, Blooper, Blooper. We'll be keeping an eye out for anything else that they do because they did an amazing job here. Hopefully, uh the rest of the silent hill franchise will see remakes because if it's anything like this they deserve a remaster i hope you guys have enjoyed i hope you'll join me again for other playthroughs and i'll be seeing you guys very soon for more videos bye now